This lysine extract can be used for the detection of sulfur, nitrogen and halogens such as chloride, bromide and iodide present in the organic compound. Now, transfer a small quantity of this lysine extract into a fresh test tube and now add a small portion of freshly prepared ferrous sulfate and now add few drops of dilute sulfuric acid and heat the test tube with the help of a test tube holder. Now you can see precipitation is take place in this test tube. The precipitates of Persian blue color which indicates the nitrogen present in the organic compound. Now the detection of sulfur. For detection of sulfur there are two tests. One is sodium nitroprusside test and another one is lead test. First of all, we will perform sodium nitroprusside test. For the same, we will take a small portion of this lysine extract into a test tube and a few drops of sodium nitroprusside into this lysine extract or sodium extract. You can see the purple color formation in this test tube which indicates the sulfur present in the organic compound. The next test. In this test we are going to perform detection of sulfur along with using lead acetate. For the same we will transfer small portion of the cyan extract or sodium extract into the test tube and we will add few drops of acetic acid and after this we are going to add few drops of lead acetate into this test tube after stirring or mixing this test tube you can see the precipitate formation, the precipitate of brown or black color shows the presence of sulfur in the organic compound. If the amount of sodium is so less in the lysine extract or sodium extract, then we will perform the ferric chloride test in the detection of sulfur and nitrogen. For the same, we will transfer a small portion of this lysine extract into a test tube and now few drops of 
ferric chloride. The color change to blood red color indicates the presence of sulfur. This is due to formation of sodium thiocyanate into this test tube. For the detection of halogen, silver nitrate test is going to be performed. For the same, first of all, we will transfer a small portion of lysine extract into a test tube. And few drops of concentrated nitric acid to it. and heat the test tube using a test tube holder. Now add a pinch of silver nitrate into the test tube and stir it. If chloride is present in the organic compound which is used in the preparation of lysine extract, it will form white color precipitates which indicates the presence of chloride. For the detection of halogen, silver nitrate test is going to be performed. For the same, first of all, we will transfer a small portion of lysine extract into a test tube. and few drops of concentrated nitric acid to it and heat the test tube using a test tube holder. Now add a pinch of silver nitrate into the test tube. If bromide is present, the production of light yellow color indicates the bromide is present in the organic compound used in the preparation of lysine excess. For the detection of Halogen silver nitrate test is going to be performed. For the same, first of all, we will transfer a small portion of lysine extract into a test tube. And few drops of concentrated nitric acid to it. and heat the test tube 
using a test tube holder. Now add a pinch of silver nitrate into the test tube. If iodine is present in the organic compound, the formation of dark yellow color precipitates indicates the formation of AGI that is silver iodide which indicates the organic compound contains iodine into the organic compound which is used for the preparation of lysine extract.